Hey guys, I have another quick trick for you guys. And this time, it's a trick to learn how to verify if your answer is correct. So the first example is 15 times 12, which equals 180. Okay? So let's verify if this answer is correct. Maybe, maybe we did a miscalculation or something. Let me tell you the trick now to verify it. So we do, first we do one plus five, which is six. And then let's just keep it for a second away. Uh, next we do one plus two, which is three. And then since the operation is multiplication, we do the same operation here, which is six times three. That turns out in the um, multiplication sentence. So six times three is 18. So we have 18 here as our answer. But we now have to make it a single digit number. So to get to a single digit number, we'll do one plus eight. One plus eight equals nine. So let's keep nine here for a second. Let's come to the right hand side. We have 180. Let's do this. So the same way, let's do on the right hand side to get to a single digit number. One plus eight plus zero. So one plus eight is nine, plus zero, nine. So we verify that the left hand side is nine and the right hand side is nine. So we have nine, which equals to nine. So, if they're equal to each other, the right hand side and the left hand side, they, the yeah, um, answer is correct. So, let's do a few more examples. Okay guys, let's do another example. This time, using addition. It's 335 plus 129. That equals 464. Okay, let's check if our answer of 464 is correct. So, let's see. Let's come and look at the left hand side now, okay? Okay guys, so this is the left hand side and this is the right hand side. So, let's look at the first step that we did in the last one. Let's 3 plus 3 plus 5. Okay, 3 plus 3 plus 5, which equals 11. Okay, so now we have 11 here. Let's make this into a single digit number. So we do 1 plus 1, which equals to 2. Okay, so that equals 2. Now, let's look at the other part of the left hand side. So, 120. Let's see. 1 plus 2 plus 9. Okay? 1 plus 2 plus 9. 1 plus 2 plus 9 is equal to 12. Right? So, 12 we have to make into a single digit number. So, 1 plus 2 is 3. So, 3 is our answer. Okay, so now we have two and three, right? Since our operation is addition, right? So let's do two plus three. Using the same operation that's as addition. Two plus three is five. So the left hand side's answer is five. Let's go to the right hand side. Four, so 464. 4 plus 6 plus 4. Let's see. 4 plus 6 plus 4. 4 plus 6 plus 4 is equal to 14. So let's make this into a single digit number. So we'll do 1 plus 4, which equals 5. Now, let's check if they um, are equal. 5 is equal to 5. Equal to right. If 
your answer is correct, this is correct. Let's do another example. Let me do one more example using subtraction. But before that, I want you guys to understand. The trick is simple. So the first part of the left hand side, you have to add each digit and then it, we get a two digit number or a one digit number. If you get a two digit number, add all the digits in the two digit number to equal a single digit number. And on the second part of the left hand side, do the same thing. And then you do whatever um, operation you use, like let's say you're doing an addition one, and then you do plus there. So once you do that, you do add those two and then make it, if it's a two digit number, make it a single digit number by adding each digit. If it's a single digit number, just keep it there. And on the right hand side, basically do the same thing. And then check if the right hand side is equal to the left hand side. Okay guys, let's do a subtraction example. Let's do nine, three, six, five, minus two, four, three, four. And the answer is six, nine, three, one. Okay guys, so let's do this. So we have our answer six, nine, three, one. So let's do this. Let's start by doing nine plus three plus six plus five. Nine plus three plus six plus five. Our answer is 23. Okay, so we have this one. Next, let's make 23 into a single digit number. Let's do two plus three, which is equal to five. So five. Okay, now the second part of the left hand side. Two, four, three, four. Let's do two plus four plus three plus four. Okay, now we do two plus four plus three plus four, which is 13. Let's make 13 into a single digit number, which would be one plus three, which equals four. So four is a single digit number. So we got five for this, four for this. And the operation is subtraction. So we'll do five minus four which equals one. Let's keep one aside for now. And now let's come to this side. Six, nine, three, one, which is the answer. So we'll do six plus nine plus three plus one. Our answer for six plus nine plus three plus one is 19. Now let's make 19 a single digit number. We have one plus nine, which is 10. So we're gonna do this. We have 10, make it into a single digit number. One plus zero, which is equal to one. Now let's compare the left hand side and the right hand side. So we have one is equal to one. And if they're equal, they're correct. It looks like a lot of steps, but the trick is pretty simple. We add all of these numbers, make it a single digit number. We add all of these numbers and make it a single digit number and use the sign, the, the, um, the operation we have. And we um, use that operation and do the, the sentence and then get our answer. We do the same thing on the right side, add on numbers, get to single digit. And let's see if the left side is equal to the right side. And if they're equal, the answer is correct. If they're not equal, the answer is wrong. Practice with multiple examples, with addition, subtraction, and multiplication. Remember, division doesn't work. Okay guys, thank you so much for being here and watching this video. And guys, I'll come back with more tricks. Hope you have fun doing math. And always remember, Math is 